Kotobuki had just revealed the Hexa Gear Season 2 lineup at the All Japan Modern Hobby Show last weekend, and we are really, really excited to share that news with you. Uh, as some of you know, we are big fans of the Hexa Gear line. Uh, in fact, I myself actually have the Demolition Brute in my collection, as you can see here, but I haven't really had time to fix it yet. There's so many backlog I have. But of course, the big item that we want to talk about today is this guy. This is the Agni Rage. Season 2 of Hexagira. This is a very big, very complex kit. Um, in fact, this kit was actually first announced back in February 2017 by Kodobokia. But because of you know the size and the complexity of this kit, it took them a while to finally make the prototype a realization. So what you're seeing here is you know somewhat still a prototype. Some of the parts and the color might still might change. But the any rage looks like a very big kit to have. Of course, the any rage can be transformed into any rage Balrog, can be customized into the Balrog uh, form. Where if you expand the wing tip to tip, the width of the kit itself is about 400 millimeters. So this is a very big kit. Make sure you have the enough space to actually display this guy. Uh, one of the other gimmicks that we like about the any rage is that the head actually. Uh, you, there's opening and close gimmick just like a jaw so opening from side to side instead of uh, you know up and down so this is actually a quite interesting gimmick we would love to see how this will be replicated into the actual kit itself the other prototype for season 2 Hexakia is the windfall and if the colors is going to be the same as what we've seen in the sketches, that would be interesting. And of course, the windfall looks a lot like a pterodactyl, even in its first form and second form. If you look at the claw that's being designed for the windfall, they look quite sharp and highly detailed. There are a lot of small parts. So it will remain to be seen whether how the color variation is going to look like when they actually produce this guy. Yeah, And interestingly enough, governors for Season 2 Hexa Gear they are called X Armor Type Quetzal and Monosaurus. It is a lot more detailed, a lot more parts, a lot more complex as well if you compare them to Season 1's Governor from Hexa Gear. So it will be interesting to see how the Quetzal will look like. Would they actually include a soft cape or a hard cape for the Quetzal? For those of you who had the Voltrex from Hexa Gear Season 1, this will probably look very familiar to you. This is of course Lord Impulse Voltrex Liberty Alliance version. We have to say this version looks a lot more meaner, a uh, lot more animalistic like. And if you look at the eyes of this uh, Lord Impulse Voltrex, we're wondering whether there will be a clear part or would there actually be a sticker. So that remains to be seen. Now the interesting part about this Voltrex is that if you look at the tail, that the end of the tail is actually what they call a trick blade. So we are wondering whether Kotobukiya will actually include a chrome part for it to look like a metal blade or will we actually paint them ourselves? So that remains to be seen. But all in all, the Hexa Gear Season 2 prototype case so far are looking very, very promising indeed. And if you have missed out on the earlier Season 1 Hexa Gear kits, worry not because Kotobukiya is re-releasing the early governor and also the Bok Arm Alpha both in camouflage version and we have to say uh, this color actually looks a lot more better it kind of reminds us of a uh, scoop dog but you know in the green army color they do look a lot more better as compared to the earlier version so that is just our preference let us know what you guys think of this new camouflage uh, colors for the bog arm alpha and also the early governor volume one And finally, the three last prototype that was shown by Kotobukiya is the new Bulk Umbera. Looks really exciting in the new color scheme. And of course, there's this new Bulk Arm Gland. So, Bulk Arm Gland looks a little bit like a frame arm mask design. So, I'm not sure, maybe that's just me. But not too bad. It looks really interesting that it can transform into an uh, armored vehicle. But that's quite interesting. And lastly, we have the Hexa Gear Booster Pack. 003 so i think that is meant to be a vehicle for the governors when you know the hexa gears are crash crushing battle so probably something that you might want to get for your governors and finally we have a very intriguing teaser by kotobukiya there is supposed to be a hexa gear 
collaboration with Square Enix for their new upcoming Gear Start Odin game. So we're not sure maybe is there gonna be some Hexa gear that's gonna be appearing in the mobile game called Gear Start Odin or what we are not sure but in the promo video hey it looks quite interesting and the male lead character if you remember I think that's the same chap from Kamen Rider Amazon that was just premiered uh, not too long ago. So we have to stay tuned and see what's that all about. But for now we have to say the season 2 prototypes from Kodobu Kia's Hexa Gear looks very promising. Obviously, we really love to get the any rich as and when it's gonna be available, but bear in mind that's gonna be a very big and expensive kit given how big is that guy in the bell route form. Um, if you guys have not started on Hexa Gear, I would say hey you guys go and try it out. You're probably gonna like them. We will probably start working on our demolition brute very very soon. And as always, thank you guys for watching and let us know what you think of the new Hexa Gear by Kodobukia.